For this screencast today, I would like to illustrate to you how you can log into your Blackboard account on a regular basis for your classes that you're currently taking online. To begin, open up a web browser of your choice. I am currently using Mozilla Firefox. And once you have your browser open, go to the address bar and type in the following address, gccd.blackboard.com. Hit enter, and once you've hit enter, it will take you to the login screen. You will see that this is the area where you need to enter in your username and password to access your account. What I would like to do is bring your attention to this area down below. This section will specifically show you what you need to do to access your Blackboard account. Your username is the same as your WebAdvisor username. WebAdvisor being the same system you use to register for your online classes. That username is the same username you will enter in this field right here. Your password is your six digit birth date. For example, if your birth date is on July 15th, 1985, you will enter in the two digit month, the two digit day, and the two digit year as your password in this field right here. Once you have logged in, I will show you how you can change your password for future access. If you are having trouble logging into your account, note that your account is available one day after you register for class, and you will not see your class until the instructor has made it available. If you are able to successfully log into your Blackboard account and you still do not see your classes that you are registered for, contact your instructor and confirm that they have made those courses available to their students. Let's go ahead and begin by logging into our accounts. As we stated before, your username is the same as your WebAdvisor username. I am going to enter in my WebAdvisor username right here and then I will enter in my six digit birth date following this format right here and then I will click log in. I have successfully logged into my account and as you can see here in this box I can access whatever courses that I'm currently enrolled in. However, as promised, I did say I would show you how you can change your password once you've logged into your Blackboard account. Refer to the Tools box and then click on Personal Information and then click on Change Password. Fill out the form provided and once you have filled out this form and click Submit, you will have successfully changed your password. However, what if you are unable to log into your account? If you are unable to log into your account and you receive a possible error like this, the username or password you entered is incorrect, please try again. If you receive this error, the first thing you want to do is confirm that you are using the correct username. Again, to reiterate, the same username you use for WebAdvisor is the same username you use right here. So to make sure we are using the correct username, we need to go to WebAdvisor and retrieve that. If you are a student at Grossmont College, you can go to the grossmont.edu website and then click on the WebAdvisor link right here and it will take you to WebAdvisor. If you are a student attending Cuyamaca, go to cuyamaca.edu and then you can click on the WebAdvisor link right here. To retrieve your WebAdvisor username, click on the account information link and then click on what's my user ID. Fill out the form provided, your last name being required, and then you can either enter your social security number or your colleague ID. Once you filled this form out, click submit and then on the next page it will display the username that you need to use for Blackboard. Write that name down and then go back to Blackboard and enter in your information. Your correct WebAdvisor username and then your six digit birth date. However, if you are still unable to log into your account after retrieving your username, you can click on the forgot password link right here. Clicking on this link will bring up a new window and you can choose an option to retrieve your password. Enter your information for one option only whether it's the username option or the email address option. 
we already know our username since we have retrieved it from WebAdvisor. So what I would suggest doing is filling out the username option here by filling out your first name, your last name, and then your WebAdvisor username. Once you click Submit, check your email for a password reset link from Blackboard where you can reset your password and then access your account. If you decide on option two, the email address option, you need to make sure that the email address that you enter here is an active email address that is associated on your WebAdvisor account. So the email address that is on WebAdvisor needs to be entered here if you choose this option. Again, fill out the form provided, click submit, and you will receive a password reset link from Blackboard. But since we already know our username, the best option for you to use is option 1. Once you have received your password link, you should be able to reset your password and then access your account. However, after retrieving your WebAdvisor username, after clicking on the Forgot Password link, if you are still unable to access your Blackboard account, the next step you will need to take is to contact your instructor. Your instructor has the ability to access their Blackboard roster, confirm what your username is, and reset your password. If you are unable to contact your instructor and you need to get into Blackboard right away, you also have an option of calling the help desk for each individual college. For Cuyamaca students, call area code 619-660-4395. And for Grossmont students, call area code 619-644-7383. That concludes this screencast on how to log in and access your Blackboard account.